This is how you can write a text file. So first of all you open it, you give it a name and you specify you want to open this file for writing and maybe it's a good idea to put a T here just to remind yourself this is a text file. You assign the file handle to some variable and as you see it's common practice to actually use uppercase letters for file handles. And then what you can do is simply use the write method um, instead of the print instruction to write to the file. So this is a string that gets written to the file. You will notice that we've added the backslash n here. That's because while print automatically goes down to a new line unless you tell it not to, um, altf.write, the dot write method, would not put in a new line unless you specify that there has to be a new line. Now strings can be written straightforwardly like that. Anything else, say for instance you've got a tuple here uh, of a string and a number, um, you need to convert it explicitly to a string before you can write it. And then here we close the file. So let's see how this works. This creates a text file and uh, again you can either go to the directory page and look at it there or uh, the browser should be able to open it and you see that it contains the lines that we've written to it.